Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss about the Cloud Practitioner Certification. So a lot of you may not have heard of the Cloud Practitioner uh, Certificate itself and I'm um, wondering what is it? Right now it's very popular, the Solutions Architect, and many people go to the Cloud uh, to the Solutions Architect directly. But today I'm going to try to convince you to get the Cloud Practitioner first. So this is the entry level exam or certification of AWS. So before jumping into the Solutions Architect, why not try Cloud Prac first? So I'm gonna explain the Cloud Prac. Uh, here in the user group, we also offer a tutor track, which is designed for anyone who wants to learn about Cloud Practitioner for three days. Uh, so the user group, of course, uh, will come here. We are run by the community, for the community here in the Philippines. Uh, I myself, I'm your community hero. I have 10 years experience plus plus in software development. I'm primarily on the open source stack, uh, focus on MySQL, Linux, PHP. I've been certified since 2013 and also been leading the group since 2013. I hold four certifications myself, the Cloud Prep being one, and also the three associate uh, certifications, SA Developer and SysOps. So what is Cloud Practitioner or why do you get it? This is really copied and uh, pasted directly from the AWS website. It is the certification that validates your knowledge on being an AWS Cloud Practitioner. It discusses basic global infrastructure, basic cloud principles, basic value, and basically it is, I would say, the, the core or maybe the, the beginning into AWS itself. This is not just for developers. This is also very useful for any management to understand what the cloud is and how to leverage the cloud itself. Okay, so whether you have um, IT background or not, you can be pure management or sales. This certification is built for you. It has four domains itself. So the first domain is its cloud concepts. So basically, what is the cloud? What makes it different from an infrastructure level on an on-premise? Basically, the, the servers inside your own physical building versus using servers outside. Now, there's a common saying, there is no cloud. It's somebody else's computer, and this is the domain one. Domain two is all about security. Basically, defining the access the infrastructure in terms of who really has the credentials, access level, and some of the high level ways to secure, or first ways to secure your root account, meaning your master account. So if you're a business owner, you know, you're not in the mercy of your first developer, you can maintain the root access or the master account yourself and you're able to give additional users to another person. Domain three, the biggest domain is all about technology. So we're talking here about the compute, such as EC2, the databases, such as MySQL on RDS or Postgres, all in a relational database service, the object storage, such as S3. And so these are the very common core services that you can come across in any cloud uh, supplier, especially in AWS. And the main four, 12%, the lowest percent is on billing and pricing. So this really covers about cost calculation, how to use the tools uh, AWS has and the different tools all about support and managing your bill and your cost. This is a 12% only. However, uh, feedback from the users have said that 
this is where they're stuck most. And so a lot of them actually have a hard time answering the billing and pricing. It might not show up a lot, but because it's still part of it, one or two questions could really stump you on this. Below is the URL you can find. You can also go directly to amazon.com certification, certification side, certified cloud practitioner. So the exam detail itself is in multiple choice and sometimes multiple answer. What does this mean? Basically, you're given A, B, C, D. Sometimes you're able to pick one, sometimes pick two, pick three, or more. In a question such as multi-answer, you have to get all answers correctly for to get the full point. So there's no partial points for the questions themselves. Questions are 65, uh, so that's the number of questions you have. If you take the practice exam, the practice exams roughly give you, the official practice exam give you 25 questions. So th imagine three times more there. Okay. So the type, again, it's easy or foundational. Anyone should take this. You can now, in the delivery method, you can now actually take the exam at home. Okay, so it's an you can take an online proctored exam. Basically, you have to make sure that your webcam is set and there's no distractors in the back front. I believe they will ask you to check your surroundings or rotate your webcam just to make sure that you have nothing in the surrounding area that can be used um, against you. Of course, you can just take the standard testing center. If you are here in Metro Manila, uh, we usually take the one in Makati. Time allocated is 90 minutes to complete the exam. If you are in the Philippines, such as myself, or you're Filipino, or you're using English as a second language, you are able to get additional minutes by going to the request additional 30 minutes. So it's in the AWS the training, you can get that for an additional 30 minutes. Cost is $100 USD and the practice exam is 20 USD. Practice exam is one time use. So meaning after you take the practice exam, um, the questions, uh, you won't be able to take another practice exam without paying another 20 US dollars. It's available in English, Japanese, Korean, and simplified Chinese as of the moment. So why cloud practitioner first? You know, this is my advice. Don't go to SA first immediately. Take the cloud practitioner first simply because of its value for money. So if you went to SAA or Solutions Architect immediately and you studied there, the SAA exam is $150 directly. So that's one cert, $150. However, if you go to the cloud practitioner track first, the cloud practitioner itself is $100 only. So that's $50 less. However, what's great with this is if you are able to pass, which I'm confident you can with proper, uh, proper time and study, you're able to get a 50% voucher, which you can use to take the, ex the next exam for 50% off. So if you use that 50% off the SAA exam, your exam now becomes $75, which gives you a total of $175. You also get a better understanding and better foundation for your SAA. So in other words, when you read and study SAA, you have a better foundation. And lastly, you also get an exam voucher, a free practice exam voucher, which you can use. That's $20 off that you can use to buy a practice exam of an SAA. So overall, if you take the cloud practitioner first and pass, you generally get $175. You only spent $175 to get the two certificates, and that is $25 more, just $25 more. And now you are both a cloud prac 
certified and an SAA certified. So the value of money and preparation is there. So any questions? So if you have any questions, don't forget, just like and subscribe, put your comments below. I also would advise you to attend our meetups, uh, also watch our other videos and see for yourself the kind of questions Cloud Prac has versus the kind of questions Solutions Architect has and see the level of difficulty for both. All right. I believe that's all my video should cover at this moment. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe again. And goodbye to you. I hope to see you again soon. Be our guest. Be our guest. If you are SAA already or CloudProc or you just want to talk with us, be our guest.